All right, uh, now let's turn our attention to the Tigers. And I tell you what, this is like a Shakespearean play for Adelaide because it is one tragedy after another. Although, well Tex did provide yeah. a shining light there, uh, albeit in a wooden spoon year. But it's all about the Tigers, Kane. It is. We've got to mention Adelaide's first wooden spoon, though, TJ. Only one club left that doesn't have a wooden spoon, Boom. and that's mighty Port Adelaide oh. at the moment. So, no, they but they've got they, you. They did what they needed to do, didn't they? Adelaide started OK, and they, they were up. Their last month of footy's been really strong coming off three wins in a row, McCullum kicked the first goal, but Richmond were just, as we've shown this clip before, the way that they set up and the amount of crucial one-on-one -on -one contests that they win is why they are such a good team. And we've alluded to how even they are. Dusty had a lot of the foot. He didn't use it as, as well as he usually would, just went at 40%. But, you know, Graham got a bit of the ball. Vlostom was great down back. Uh, Grimes is just a solid citizen. So it was an important game for some players like Josh Caddy. I know you want to speak about him, Lordo. Marlon Pickett also. And Chole coming in, but just didn't do enough, I don't think. Marby Old Chole, just three disposals and that goal there. So when Lynch comes back, when Prestia comes back and when Bolton comes back, there's going to be some really interesting selection decisions for Damien Hardwick and his match committee. Hey, Kane, you're one of the fortunate ones to see AFL footy live this year. Uh, do you see them as a clear number one seed as well? I think them and Geelong. I think the Geelong performance against Richmond obviously dents your confidence a little bit, but when you're getting back Ablett and Rowan, who's so important, and Joel Selwood, I've still got a lot of confidence in Geelong. So they're, they're far and away the two for me, and they're on pretty much even billing. And then it, you know, Port Adelaide and, and Brisbane on the rung underneath. I still think West Coast could do some damage as well. But in terms of the best and the best systems and the most hardened players, I think Geelong and Can Richmond Port are in Adelaide the box seat. Can Port Adelaide win at Kane? No, I don't think they can, Brownie. I think it would be a significant achievement to make a prelim final if Port Adelaide can do that. Not many had them in this position at the start of the year with the young group they've got. Hey, Damo, do you think they'll roll the dice and bring Dion Prestia in in a couple of weeks off, maybe missing you know, for, I don't know, 12, 15 weeks of footy? Yeah, I do, Lotto. Yeah. Um, he's got an amazing resilience, that guy. I know he's on, on a drip only uh, a fortnight ago from the uh, complications to the, the um, surgery he had. But, uh, look, he's a proven performer. If he declares himself right to play, I reckon they'll pick him, as they did when Shane Edwards, the moment he became available uh, on the weekend. Yeah, one of those players that may be vulnerable is Josh Caddy. Kicked two goals yesterday, but limped around. He looked a little bit sore in his knee at stages. So... Uh, I'm not sure what role he plays, but I look at it. Chole, yeah, it might miss for Lynch. Uh, Jack Ross may miss for Shai, Shai Bolton. And uh, Dion Prestia may come in for Josh Caddy, as I said, who hurt his knee at one point yesterday, but did come back on and kick a nice goal late in the piece. So good problems to have, TJ, with selection trouble, uh, selection headaches, I should say, at Richmond.